Now my family, someone called Dr. Zanye on X, formerly called Twitter, posted a comment saying this and I quote, I have been in denial for so long, but it is time. I accept that Harry and Meghan are the most important people in Britain. The rest, the king, William, K. Moulton, even the prime minister are not as important as them. Now my family, Dr. Zanye said that in response to a so-called headline from Daily Fail, saying this, and I quote, a woman called Dame Mary Beard said, that reporting tittle tattle about the state of Harry and Meghan's marriage is important because it will serve as a historical record. <laughs> My family, and from what I've also learned myself, this woman, Dame Mary Beard, is promoting her book. And somehow, you can't promote your book in Britain without being told to talk about Harry and Meghan. And my family, we know of Richard Eden, a carnival of so-called expert who writes columns for Daily Mail. That guy is obsessed with Harry and Meghan. That guy feels so, so scorned because Prince Harry, when he was told... You know, by the royal family, after the one-year review period, if he'll come back or not, Harry said, no, I ain't going back. That guy is so scorned because Harry said no. No to coming back to the UK, to smile for the cameras, to put up with the abuse of the toxic UK media. That guy is scorned. You know, in fact, my family, I recall a moment whereby Richard Eden, he was asked, you know, about Harry Meghan not returning to the UK. My family, as you all know, it's Harry the one back in Britain. And my family, he said, you know, he was a bit sad, upset, because Harry is not coming back. When after the one-year review period, Harry Meghan said, no, we are not coming back. And my family, the guy writes columns for Daily Mail. The same Daily Mail that my family waged a smear campaign against Meghan Markle that was so hateful, so racist. But somehow, Richard Eden was like, you know, I'm a bit sad. I'm upset, really, that... Prince Harry, you know, ain't coming back. Now my family, I keep saying, based on the rhetoric that's out there, these tabloids and even some individuals, like Dame Mary Beard, I have never even heard of this woman. My family, they're all hinging. They have all their cards, really. On the fact that if Harry and Meghan separate, Harry will come back to Britain. They have all their cards placed on that. That Harry will have nowhere to go but to come back to Britain. That's where they placed all their cards. And they really believe that in their minds. My family, they believe that in their minds. That Harry will come back in their minds. That that is going to happen. And that's why they attack and they attack and they attack Harry Meghan with the belief that by doing that, they are putting so much strain on Harry Meghan's marriage. They do that with the belief that they can put so much pressure onto Meghan and Harry that my family, they give up. That Harry Meghan just say it's over. That Megan, 
who is the target says, you know what, I'm tired of the abuse. It's over between us. That is what they want so badly. And they believe if they can be able to do that, then Harry will come back to Bridget. You know, my family, I have read Harry's memoir spare. I have read his memoir spare. I have read it. And I am sure UK media have also read it. I am sure Richard Eden has also read Harry's memoir spare. I am sure he has read his memoir spare. And my family, if you have read Harry's memoir spare, why would you think that someone like that who has said what he has to say about the pain he endured at the hands of the media. Someone who is suing majority of the most powerful tabloids in Britain, the Sun, Daily Mail, the Mirror. Why do you think that someone like that, after what you're putting through, and he's suing you, that he is going to come back to you? My family. You know, Maybe it's because of what Harry said in his memoir, Spare. My family, I want, you to read you, I want to read you this part of Harry's memoir, Spare. You know, because I find these words from Harry utterly very, very much important. My family and my family, very, very much meaningful. My family, Harry says an quote. Which led us on the subject of the press. Farmer ground, I let fly my own countrymen and countrywomen. I said, showing contempt, such vile disrespect to the woman I loved. Sure, the press had been cruel to me through the years, but that was different. I was born into it. That part. Maybe. They believe because Harry has been used to this life, you know, the abuse, being the scapegoat in the farm, that because of that, maybe Harry will come back. Because even though they've abused him, you know what? He is used to it. I mean, Harry said the same thing in his memoir space. It was like, you know what? I have been abused by the press. But, you know, I was born into it. Had his own words, my family, in his memoir spare. Sure, the press had been cruel to me through the years, but that was different. I was born into it. My family, I call that being programmed, conditioned to accept the vile abuse and the disrespect shown to you. And Harry was conditioned, programmed, for a long time to accept being the spear. From a young age already, he was being poorly treated. And he was being shown that, you know what? You know, William is more important than you. That's why William would get the good part of the room that Harry and William were staying in when they were young. And Harry got aside that was less luxurious compared to Prince William. Harry was shown from a young age, you know what? It's William who get the expensive, luxurious stuff. You, on the other hand, you are not going to get that. And my family, he was conditioned year after year, for decades, to the point that Harry himself says this, you know, that sure, the press had been cruel to me through the years, but that was different. I was born into it. My family had was conditioned to accept the abuse. Be the royal family scapegoat. He was conditioned to accept it. To the point that he believes he deserves it. Harry says, you know what? You know, and sometimes I'd ask for it, brought it on myself. But this woman, Megan, had done nothing to deserve such cruelty. You know, I feel like UK media believe that Harry will come back 
because he was used to the abuse. With Megan, they all admit she is not coming back. With Harry, they think that he is going to come back. Him. Someone was conditioned to accept the abuse. Someone was conditioned and told, you know what? As a spear, you mean nothing compared to your brother, the heir. That's part of the reason as to why you can media believe, you know what? Harry will come back. And they really, really believe it. And they put all their cards that if they can ruin what Harry Meghan have, their marriage, then Harry will have nowhere to go to but to come to Britain. Back to the arms of the cruel British tabloids. That is what the family, family believe. Now my family, you know, truly, Harry and Meghan, they are the people who are the most important people really in Britain, really. With how my family, UK media outlets, dedicate time, segments on a daily basis to focus on attacking Harry and Meghan, who don't live in the UK, who have been living in California for more than, you know, three years now. I believe next year will be their fourth year, you know, living far away from the UK. Still, the carnival of so-called experts, like Richard Eden, my family, even when they're interviewing someone, they have to ask about what they think about Harry Meghan. They have to look for a comment about Harry Meghan to write a column, an article about Harry Meghan. They refuse to let go of Prince Harry Meghan. And my family, truly, they fully depend on Harry Meghan to earn a living. That to me is crystal clear. And it is despicable to see how UK media are exploiting Harry Meghan. How the abusers are exploiting Harry Meghan's name for clickbait and to earn a living. It is despicable to see what this carnival of so-called experts are doing. And my family, Harry Meghan are not visible. The last time they have been seen is that is when they were at the 1805 live event. That's the last time they were seen. But yet every day, you won't miss a story about Harry Meghan. Yet every day, you won't miss a story about Harry Meghan. Yet every single day, my family. Non-stop. Daily Mail has to write like five articles about Meghan and Harry on a daily basis. And they have no access to Harry Meghan. And we know that for a fact. They have no access to Harry Meghan. But they write five articles a day about Harry Meghan, you know. And yet they call them irrelevant. But the taxpayer funded royals in the UK, my family, the tabloids rarely even focus on them. And when they do focus on them, still they can't keep Harry Meghan's names out of their mouths. They just really can't my family. They refuse to accept Harry Meghan's rejection. And my family, William and Kimbleton, right now, practically, those two, my family, William is going to Singapore without Kimbleton. William is going to Singapore without Kimbleton, without his wife Kimbleton. And both William and Kimbleton have been spotted countless number of times doing separate engagements countless number of times my family it's like they don't even live together my family it's like they don't even live together you know but yet you won't see the carnival of so called experts being like you know what's going down between William and Kimilton you know is there trouble in their marriage that's why William refuses to go with K. Moulton to his Afro event in Singapore. My family, you all know what would have happened if Meghan had even missed the Ian Victor's Games. I mean, my family, the fact that Meghan was not sitting next to Harry when Harry was doing his interviews, promoting his memoir spare, that was enough 
for UK media for role experts to claim that there was trouble in Harry Meghan's household. Trouble, you know, in their marriage because Meghan was not sitting next to Harry when Harry was promoting his most pair. When Harry came to the UK for his court case, also Meghan did not come. That was enough for UK media to say that, you know what? Things are not well between Harry and Meghan. That was enough. But William and Kim Wilson have practically been seen countless number of times going on separate engagements. William even is going to Singapore without Kim Wilson. But somehow it ain't enough for UK media to even raise flags about William and Kim Wilson's, you know, marriage. Even last year, just last year, my family, William was at Wimbledon. He arrived there before Kate and his son, George. He got there before Kate Milton and George. My family, just even look at this clip of what happened even, you know, last year. Last year, Kate and George arrived, you know, in a car, my family. And William was there before Kate and George. He was there at Wimbledon, my family. Now, my family, if this was Harry Meghan already, people will say that, you know what? There could be trouble in Harry Meghan's marriage. I mean, Kate Moulton arriving in a separate car. You know? With her son, George. William was waiting there at Wimbledon, my family. If it were Harry Meghan, they'd be asking why didn't Harry ride in the same car as his wife. But for William and Kim Moulton, you don't hear that kind of talk. You don't hear that one bit, my family, because William and Kim Moulton are protected. They are protected by the palace. You know? Because the palace always makes deals to protect the heir, but never made any deals to protect the spare. My family, you know? So my family, I can't stand seeing the double standards that we keep on seeing time and time again. That you're having, you can be focusing on somehow Harry Meghan's marriage, but not focusing on William and Kimberton. They are focusing on Harry Meghan's marriage because they want to destroy it. Because they want to destroy it. Put so much pressure on Harry Meghan that they destroy what Harry and Meghan have. That is what they're hoping to achieve. I mean, my family, just hear some stuff about what was said by Dame Mary Beard. She said to Carnival of so-called expert John Eden, and I quote, the reporting title title about the state of Harry and Meghan's marriage is important because it will serve as a historical record of what people are talking about. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Declares TV historian Dame Mary Beard. And she says, and I quote, I've been reading that they are going to get a divorce. She says, maybe they are, maybe they're not. But that's very much the same sort of gossip as in Roman times, as she promotes her book. You know? And she says, before anyone thinks I'm trivializing it, gossip is very important from a historical point of view. <laughs> so my family, they admit that all they're doing is just gossiping. And they are saying that gossiping is okay. It's all right to gossip about Harry Meghan's marriage. It's okay to write many articles, 
lying that somehow, you know, her and Megan's marriage, you know, is on the rocks. Because essentially, that's what she's implying, my family. That it's okay to do that. For purposes of historical record, we all know what the carnival or so-called experts are hoping will happen. We all know that, my family. We are not fools here. We all know what they're hoping will happen. They're hoping they can put as much pressure on Harry Megan's marriage that my family, it destroys what Harry Megan have. That's what they're hoping for. And that's why they refuse to let Harry Megan live in peace. That's why they continue to pay taps to hound and harass Harry Megan. I want Ever forget that when Harry Megan were hounded in New York, Daily Mail and Daily Express, both UK tabloids, had photos of Harry Megan in a taxi after they were pursued by paps and were trying to evade them. It showed exactly just who has been paying for the harassment and hounding of Harry Megan, and clearly they're paying so much money for it to happen. To cause distress. Stress. To put a strain on Harry Meghan. That it breaks what they have. That's what, you know, they're hoping will happen. But my family, I pray that they never, ever succeed in their evil plots to destroy what Harry and Meghan have. My family, Prince Harry has told us in his memo spare, about what we need to know. And my family, you know, one thing that is so, so hypocritical is that when Harry says in the future, when his kids come, come of age, Harry wanted for his kids to hear his story and Megan's from him. Not from gossip, not from tablets, my family. That's what Harry wanted. When Archie Libet looked back at what happened to Harry Megan, to Pa and Mama Megan, that they read Harry Megan's story from Harry Megan, not, not through sources, palace sources, or through, you know, carnival or so called experts, not through them, from what Pa, you know, what Father Harry has written. That's what Harry wanted for his kids, Archie and Libertana. You know? For historical record, my family. When historians are writing history, they have no choice but to take into account everything that Harry Meghan wrote, that Prince Harry wrote in his memoir spare. What Meghan said in their Meghan Dog series, they have to write that. When writing history, but somehow, two UK media is like, how dare they write, how dare Harry write his memoir spare? How dare they do the Harry Meghan documentary? How, how could they? How could they? That is the rhetoric of the UK media. But somehow, it's okay for them to be the ones who somehow are writing, you know, Harry Meghan's story from their own lenses for historical record and they're hoping to put as much pressure on Harry Meghan's marriage that it falls apart that Harry Meghan break apart my family I hope that they never ever succeed I hope that they never ever succeed in their evil place against Harry and Meghan my family and what they're doing my family is just so cruel and completely very, very wrong to see what, you know, UK media are doing with this constant hounding, harassment, you know, of Harry Meghan. It is so despicable, you know, what they are doing. And even Dame Mary Beard admits, really, what they are doing is just gossiping. They are gossiping and somehow he's okay with that. <sighs> My family, and that's why I feel so upset to see BBC News that is fully taxpayer funded 
reading Daily Mail, Zan Tabred, you know, on BBC News. Lending credibility to tabloids that gossip instead of factually reporting the news. They gossip, speculate, and blatantly lie. That's what they normally do. And my family, you know, just seeing what continues to happen time and time again, this hounding of Harry Meghan, it is despicable. I mean, if you want Harry Meghan to go away, like I've heard from some carnival or so called experts, then guess what? Right now, Harry and Meghan are not even seen. You know, they are living their lives, raising their children. Harry and Meghan are living their lives as they raise their kids, Archie and Lily Bettana. They are living their lives. But the one who can't stop waiting, mourning, complaining, asking people to give a comment about the state of Harry Meghan's marriage, people who Harry Meghan have never even met, they're the ones who can't stop talking about Harry Meghan. And when Harry Meghan show up, they will be like, you know, why can't you just go away? But yet, when Harry Meghan aren't even seen, they themselves, they can't stop whinging, mourning, and asking everyone they meet, hey, do you have a comment about Harry Meghan as you promote your book? I mean, my family, seriously? <laughs> because that is what clearly keeps on happening time and time again. You can't promote a book in Britain without mentioning Harry Meghan's name. You just can't. You can't. You know, you just really can't. And that to me is crystal clear, my family. It is very, very much clear and just so, so obvious, my family, that you can't promote a book without mentioning Harry and Meghan's name. How is this okay? How is what's happening right now okay? Same people who call Harry and Meghan irrelevant are the same one, same ones who can't stop whinging, mourning, and complaining about Harry and Meghan. People like Richard Eden who can't shut up about Harry Meghan. Even Piers Morgan himself, my family, the guy works for Rupert Murdoch. And my family, basically, sometimes he goes to New York. And when he's in New York, he asks Americans what they think about Harry Meghan. He is trying to do to Harry Meghan what he did to them in Britain. Spread toxicity, my family, about Harry Meghan in the US, like they did in Britain to Harry Meghan. And no wonder when Pierce Morgan meets any American in any interview, he has no choice but to ask about Harry Meghan, to look for a negative comment about Harry Meghan. People he calls irrelevant. People he says to just keep quiet, but yet he can't shut up about Harry Meghan. He just can't. You know? My family. My family, you know, I hope that Harry and Meghan keep on living their lives. Earning a living, paying their bills, and also I do hope for them that they never ever, you know, return ever to toxicity ever again. You know, Harry was asked, by Anson Cooper. If he ever saw himself ever returning as a so-called senior working role in my family, he said, no, no. He also said that, you know what? My family feels safe in the US. I feel safe here. And things have gotten worse in Britain. Well, by UK media, keep on with this hate campaign against Harry Meghan. My family... It's high time that the carnival of so called understand this that Harry will never ever abandon the mother of his kids and also his children. And it's high time that this carnival of so called experts leave Harry and Meghan alone and accept what they're left with in Britain. That's what they need to accept. And those 
with my family have never even met Harry Meghan. It's high time that they stop promoting the books, the memoirs. You know, by somehow mentioning Harry and Meghan's name. It's high time that Queen Media stop exploiting Harry and Meghan and leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. It's high time they leave Harry and Meghan alone. Now, my family, you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. Kindly, I like to hear your opinion, my family. May God bless Harry, Meghan. Archie, Libedana and Doria Raglan. And all of you members of Squad at Home, he never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you always and forever, my family. Truly, Harry and Meghan truly are the most important people. And that is a fact, my family. And let me just say this a bit. It's because, really, UK media can't accept that Harry left Britain, fled Britain, my family. That he managed to escape the gilded cage. They can't stand that. They, the establishment can't stand that. Because if a member of the royal family can escape the gilded cage, what happens in the future with others who say, you know what? I don't have to put up with this. I'm leaving. And that's why my family really. UK media refuse to let go of Prince Harry. They want him to fail. They want his business endeavors to fail. They want his marriage to fail because they want to send a message to other members of the royal family. First of all, members of the royal family aren't allowed to marry people of color. And also, that if you leave, you will not succeed. That's the message the tablets are trying to send. Of how they can punish you for leaving. If you dare to leave. That you should just put up with their abuse and insults. My family, no. No, 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 no. In this life, you only live once. And you can't live in fear. You must live. And life is worth living. And I'm happy that Harry Megan are living their lives. And doing good. Helping out others, my family. And thriving. And may they keep on thriving, my family. And may Harry never ever go back to his abusers. Stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you all and forever. And may God bless all of you, my family. May God bless each and every single one of you. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And it's high time that clearly everyone understands this. The fact that Megan, a woman of color, was bullied out of the royal family. It just shows the racism in Britain. And the racism of the UK media. And they can deny it all they want. But the fact is, they continue even right now. Being racist was Meghan Markle. For my family, their hate campaign, it has been a failure. And it'll keep on failing. And they'll keep on seeing Harry Meghan thrive. Because for the first time in history, the spear will not be destroyed. It's best family. By the almighty God's grace, my family. Harry's family will not be destroyed. Megan, Archie, Little Pet. UK media won't ruin their marriage. By God's grace, my family. Stay tuned for our next video. What God has put together. Let no man or woman ever separate. Love my family always and forever. Hello, members of the Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.